All right, so here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glare and weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is one. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle. He can grapple. He's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial artists we have seen come on the scene for a long time. But he's got to continue to prove it if he wants to stay where he is right now in the UFC. And perhaps his greatest asset, at least thus far, has been his instinctual nature in the octagon, right? Just knowing which skill to employ at the right time. And certainly he's got essentially every skill you would want in an MMA arsenal. So here is the former UFC world title challenger, perennial heavyweight contender type, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. His crowning achievement, really, that K-1 World Grand Prix Championship in kickboxing, still in search of that elusive UFC title. No one expected him to win that kickboxing right. world championship. Right. But he went out there and he beat some of the biggest names in kickboxing history. But once he was back in MMA, he has been a true and absolute savage from becoming the dream world champion becoming the strike force heavyweight champion he's done about everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts of course he made his ufc debut famously against brock lesnar a lot of the recent wins for the ream have come by knockout or tko he'll be chasing another highlight here tonight alistair Overeem is ready to engage yet again Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee Herb ready Dean will handle the action ready. in the octagon. All right, ready to go with round one, and clearly so is the pit bull Andre Arlovsky. The majority of his finishes have come in round one, so don't be surprised if Arlovsky gets off to another good start here tonight in Vegas. A nice combination there from the American top team trained Andre Arlovsky made his pro debut in April of 1999 and still very much relevant in this UFC heavyweight division. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice punch from the clinch. strikes here he's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently over rims in half all right side control now we'll see if he can advance position and dizzy as he looks to improve position here oh, tags him with the straight nice job there by over yes straight punch is true oh Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Arlovsky's bleeding from the mouth now. He cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice low kick. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Oh, he ain't Dutch, he ain't much. Beautiful land there by Alistair Overeem. Continues to cross-train at different places. Finished up this training camp at Team Elevation there under Elliott Marshall in Colorado. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, straight to the body by Overeem. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Well, he's as accomplished as any heavyweight in the sport and arguably as well-rounded as well, but Alistair Overeem choosing to strike in this matchup here tonight. Well, that's what he's known for, right? He, he's, he's a guy that is so good in the striking. He's a guy that's so good with his range that if you're forced to fight Alistair Overeem in a stand-up fight, you're in trouble. He does so good at controlling you and then hurting you. We have seen him finish big guys like Brock Lesnar very quickly when forced to stand with him. Tonight, he's vintage. He looks like the Uberim of before. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Immediately gets the underhook. Fighter separates from the punch now. Nice jab there by the ring. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. One minute to go in the round. Separate after exiting the clinch. Oh man, another leg kick lands right on the button, causing a lot of damage to the legs of his opponent who hasn't mustered anything up in terms of an appropriate defense. He's got a check. Maybe he can catch one of those kicks to turn it into a takedown. He just needs to do something. For me, I would try to get close. Just not allow him to gauge range to throw leg kick. If you're chest to chest, there is no kicks. Get close to your opponent, take that kick away from him. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. He's in real John, trouble. it looks tight. It looks like he's going to get this. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Five minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now, and... Arlovsky's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on Ready, the fight. lip. How does he Ready. avoid taking too much damage back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area. So we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Slip and counter by the ring. Oh, big elbow. Looking to land the leg kick now. Both fighters throwing heat now. Back in the clinch. Look for a takedown. He's very good at changing angles when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. So Arlovsky's eye is closing up.
leg kick. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. His confidence is going to move as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Try to establish that jab. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. Oh, oh he lands a massive kick here. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something, because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Overin's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. He misses with the right hand. Single collar tie here. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Oh, beautifully placed shots to the leg. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. That's another nice strike by him there. And continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight action, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become a slow. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there by Alistair Overeem. Bided his time, found the opening underneath the guard of his opponent, and landed flush. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. So much fun. Thirty seconds to go in the round. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more tight game team. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Third round underway. Hook to the headlands 
push there by Olavsky. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Huge knee lands in the corner. Out of range with that one. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Overeem's really taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? They might even call him the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Well, no surprise to see him. Oh! Gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. She sets up that leg kick beautiful. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here now. You go home and admire your work. It doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to me right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one all the action. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. So what? Oh, he hurt again! Overeem gets caught with that punch. Now they separate. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Pretty strong jab there by Overeem. So Arlovsky's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Huge block there. Nice punch from the clinch by Arlovsky. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by the Reem. Man, look at that damage on the Leg kick is there. Hands up. Just over two minutes now to go. Able to check that kick as well. Tags him with the uppercut. Over in flocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Arlovsky's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time now. Oh, nice hook by the ring. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. So Arlovsky's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Throwing that low kick. Oh, nice. That landed. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Final seconds of round three. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Orlovsky. Trying to hammer that lead leg. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Just protect it. You need to go after it. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to see that Arlovsky's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. So Arlovsky's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Arlovsky just out of range with that right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Hands up, hands up. Attempts the front kick there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right hook attempt. No good. Overeem's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Only three minutes to go in round four. Overeem gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Straight right is there. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. And just misses with that big right hand. Arlovsky's eye looks so swollen now. You've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured over. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now some separation. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Overeem gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough that when you are able to visually see someone react to... Oh! Oh, he's in real trouble now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Overeem. Oh. That leg kick hurt. Oh, effective use of the jab there by Overeem. Like that. And they separate. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself real traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's option. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. Able to land to the body there with the leg kick. Oh, smokes! Yeah, that 
was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 59 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alistair the Reem Overeem. So Alistair Overeem just continues to get it done while entertaining the masses along the way. Huge win for the Reem tonight. A guy who statistically is about as accurate a striker as we have on this roster. I thought he was efficient tonight, picked his spots well. Yet another shining moment for one of the best heavyweights to ever do it. Congratulations to Alistair Overeem.